Hi, Pep. How 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 pleased are you with with this performance? Even even with five changes uh, from the weekend, you you maintain the level of football in the Champions League. Now. Yeah, good evening. In general, we play really well. We were not clinical enough up front. Uh, with the actions, the one against one, and uh, with the keeper, with the defenders, that we have to be more clinical in this competition. You have to be more. Yeah, it had to be better, but in general, no complaints. Uh, I know how physical and how good, well organized they are. So they play with diamond. They put a lot of players inside. They contact with the Stindel, with Neuhaus, and after Hoffman and Hoffman and, and Plea movement running behind, we had to defend bigger space. Uh, so, but in general, it was a was a good game. Kyle Walker was exceptional today. The game he played and. Uh, yeah, in general, it was a good game. It's uh, the first step, uh, long, many weeks for the second leg. So now just thinking in in a, in, in, in a poor, poor uh, recovery. The game against West Ham in three days. You guys, if I could see some other hands, please, for questions. <laughs> we go to Paul Hurst, please. Hey, there were times last season when Joao um, struggled a little bit. Can you just kind of talk about his development from this seat, from uh, last season to this season, please? Yeah, he's, he's playing really, really well. So sometimes in that position, has to control the risk when he loses the ball because it's different when you play white. But in the same times, the quality that he plays there, and especially when he drive with the ball and and overcome the half line and can drive to the central defender is a player with a with a with a huge quality. Phys physicality is overwhelming. In terms of tomorrow we should play another game, he will be ready to play. And of course today with the two assets uh, in the final third was brilliant from Bernardo and after yeah two brilliant two two beautiful goals. Thank you. Mike Minet please. I think you're on mute, Mike. If you, there we go. Yeah. Hi, Pep. Um, you just mentioned me passing there. Bernardo Silva tonight. I thought his work rate was fantastic, uh, off the ball particularly. Um, the comparisons to him two or three seasons ago, is he better than he was then? Is he at his best level he's, he's been at now? He certainly seems in full. Bernardo? Yeah. No, it's quite similar all the seasons. <laughs> Last season, maybe we drop a little bit, but... Uh... Every time when he played, he's an exceptional player. He has an especially sense and quality to play football. He's an exceptional player. Jim Conlon, please, guys. Uh, hi, Pep. Uh, Cancelo has performance there again this evening. His quality of his passing in terms of his, his ability to put ball into the box is top notch. And his uh, deliveries into the box there tonight were a top standard. John. John. Yeah, of course. He has to discriminate. Oh, sometimes, always, he won it. He want to do uh, this kind of passes. In these passes, uh, we try to convince him in this position. We knew that the, the chance arrived for himself. So, and after that, of course, when he has that feeling to put the ball, you have to be the quality to put that ball. And he did it perfectly. We'll go to Duncan Wright, please. Hi, Pep. Um, you spoke about Bernardo Silva and his quality on the ball, but... Who knew he was a, a good target man and good with his head? He's, a, he's the smallest man on the pitch, and he's so devastating in the air. Yeah, he's, he's, he's really good in the header. He's really good. I saw in the training session. So it has the because uh, when you you kick or you make an action for the header, he has to use your body, not just the head. And uh, he used perfectly the neck and the body. He's, he's a strong. He he's a good header, honestly. I know it, and the goal was fantastic. How the way he finished it, and especially with attacking midfielder arrived to the box. Attacking midfielder had to arrive, and Bernardo and Gudlo, they have this special quality. Sam Lee, please, guys. Hi, Pep. Um, you mentioned straight away about um, being clinical in this interview and on BT as well. Um, what what can change 
What what can change? What can you do? What can the players do to be more clinical? No, absolutely nothing. So they are so good. Raj is so good. Phil is good. Gabriel in the final third is in the final third in the dribbling is good. So just in this in this competition, like we don't have much margin. So the actions, like we have one against one on on, on or three against two. Uh, in our in our position, you have to at least finish the action, make the summer the keeper make a save, and we didn't do it. We create a lot of chance, arrive there in the final third. The process was good. We commit central defenders, arrive to the wingers in that position. We have to finish better. And in this competition, you have to improve. Many well, improve in general, but it was just today to happen. So another day will be another player. Just to, they have to know that in this, in this competition, because in Premier League always we can drop and uh, <coughs> you know points, but always you have margin. In this competition, you don't have chance. In that moment, you have to be to be better. And today, I know we have the quality to do it. I'm not concerned at all about this. But today, when you ask me about the, the opinion about the game, if I have something we'd like to improve, it's just that uh, because they run incredible well, we defend incredible well. We didn't let them play the process. They put a lot of players in the middle. Again, when they contact with Neuhaus, exceptional player with Steen, they'll have the quality to keep the ball, and after Hoffman and the other one runs in behind. So it's not easy uh, to do it, and they do it really well. 90, more than 90 minutes, incredible focus, and the process was good. Uh, the process with three in the back, with Joao, with everyone, set the ball in the right moment. But the actions with the transitions, if we can arrive there, we were not good enough today in the in the in the box. In the in the you know when you dribble your opening, you can shoot, and we were not able to do it today. Jack, go on, please. Does that um, when that happens like today? Does it does it not help to have a defence like you've got? I mean, Gladbach barely got near the penalty area tonight. Sorry, I didn't understand you. Can you just repeat it, please, Jack. Yeah, Cut sorry. The, the when when you're not finishing any chances like tonight, is it not very very helpful to have a, a defence performing like they did tonight? Because Gladbach had one shot on target, and that was in the last the last second. That is the reason why we are incredible solid in 19 meters in a row. So, but the team is everything is involved. So the defenders, just one consistent target, you have to learn this, all of you, is because we're making incredible effort up front with Rush, Phil, and Gabriel today, and Bernard and Gundo and everyone. That's why the opponents come in that positions in the difficult problems in few times, and that's why we defend well. And the same process, when they create chances, we create chances, or they have the chance to one against one, is because our build-up would take risk, and Ruben and Kyle and Ederson, and everyone make the process good. And football is not attack and defense, it's all together. But today we make everything grand, arrive in the right moment to dribble and shoot, and we didn't dribble, we didn't shoot. And and normally that is the point that today you have to improve for the next games, uh, start in three days. Patrick Berger, please. Hello, aus Deutschland, Pep. Glückwunsch uh, zum Sieg. Uh, we saw you talking with uh, Marco Rosa after the match uh, for a few minutes. About what did you talk and what is your opinion personally about him? He will train Borussia Dortmund next uh, next season? Uh, his team they played really well, not just today, you know, in general, I know it. And he made an incredible job in Leipzig when he's promoted for Borussia Dortmund before West because he's an exceptional manager. So we know it. And... Uh, <laughs> and now we talk a little bit the game uh, when we come back we're going to drink a glass of wine uh, a bottle of wine after the second leg in Manchester and uh, yeah wish him all the best and uh, yeah how his experience in England how his experience in Germany yeah yeah nothing special so it was the first time we met each other it was a pleasure for me to meet him and uh uh, I know there is a huge talent managers in in Germany uh, of course Jurgen Klopp is the is the you know is the top, but of course Nagelsmann and uh, and Marco and uh, Thomas Tuchel. So there are many many uh, ma ma many good young uh, talent managers in Germany. That's why the teams always they play really well. Of course Hansi Flick, like appear like a something unique in the world football, uh, winning pff, incredible yesterday, making again another incredible performance by performance by Munich and. Um, and um, yeah, so Germany is in good health. So the football, the quality they play is uh, is huge. Andy, don't please. Andy, can you hear us okay? Yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah, we've got you. Yeah. 
Pep, it's 19 games, 19 wins in a row. If you could say what is the most important reason for those 19 wins in a row, that sort of run, if you could mention one thing, what would it be? We have a lot of money to buy a lot of incredible players. <laughs> this is the reason. Oh, yeah. yeah, we win for the, all the time. We win for the money. Yeah, that is true. So without good quality of players, we cannot do it. And uh, the, the humanity of this group, the players are fantastic. They have an incredible relation. And um, mm. and play every game to thinking just is one, win this game. So, and now especially is this. Today, so enjoy the night with the uh, best food as possible. And, and in three days, thinking of West Ham. When the people talk about the... The second leg, second leg is in three weeks. Now the next target is West Ham. That is only I'm concerned. Okay, we'll call it there. Thank you, guys. Thank you.